Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and today is another Friday, so that means Foraging Friday. And today's foraging toy that I'm going to be focusing on is a foraging ball, as you can see here, or a mouse, as you can see here. It's uh, pretty much the exact same thing. Anyways, these are really nice because they're super simple. Uh, all you have to do is fill them up with some treats, and the rats roll them around, and it comes out the hole. As you can see here, this is one that I got that is actually meant for cats, but it works perfectly for rats. You just put in a few treats, uh, you can put them in through the hole, and then afterwards the rat has to roll it around like Bean is doing over here in order to get the treats out. Now the nice thing about these balls is they have a few different settings. I currently have it on the most open setting. This is a small animal ball. It's specifically made for small animals. Well, let me tell you, it's exactly the same as the cat one. Anyways, you can see it has a pretty large opening, and you can actually make it smaller if you want to make it harder for the rats. <laughs> There's Bean uh, trying out the other one. But anyways, you can make this smaller if you want to make it a little harder, or you can put larger treats in there. Um, initially when I got it, I thought the carrots were holes, so I was a little disappointed. But now that I have it, I can see why they don't have a ton of holes all over, because that would make it really easy for the rats. Um, they really enjoy getting out, out of these little holes. You can see this one here actually has three different holes. There's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. And I put some Gerber puffs inside. Now, back when I had my rat Espresso, she would use her little arms to get it out. And none of these guys seem to understand that. They just kind of toss it around or use their mouths to kind of manipulate it out. But even so, they definitely get a lot of enrichment out of it. And, um... They really seem to enjoy interacting with these. We'll see, uh, oh, here, here's Bean again. Let's see if she uh, goes back to rolling them. So yeah, they can roll them with their nose. They can roll them with their, uh, I don't know, their paws. Just, <laughs> yeah. So they have to roll it like that to get it out. And of course the larger treats are harder to get out. And the cat toy in particular has a little spiral thing inside, which means that they have to roll it. <laughs> Coconut's trying to steal my ball. Coconut, that is not for you to steal. As you can see, Bean is <laughs> Bean is more than willing to push it around in order to get some treats out. Uh, this one has the same function, like I mentioned, and I think Bean was pushing it around earlier. This one here is what Coconut favors because she thinks it's easier, but personally I don't think so, considering that she keeps not using her arms. But yeah, these are very fun treat toys, and they're just, in general, you know, pretty awesome because there's so many different choices online. Uh, you can get ones for dogs, cats, like I mentioned this is a cat one, but it works perfectly for small animals. This one is technically meant for small animals, but it would work fine with a cat. Uh, this one's meant for cats, and it works fine with small animals. And uh, I've seen a bunch of dog ones out there, and even parrot ones out there that would work perfectly fine. They're very durable, and they're just really nice because they give the rat something simple, but you can also make it a little bit harder with these smaller holes. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you can easily make a DIY version as well, of course, so there's a lot of options. And Bean's taking away my carrot one. Anyways, they're probably one of the most inexpensive, and they're really nice for free range. When you have the larger foraging toys in the cage that need to be attached to the cage wall, well, you can't really take them out in the free range area, so these are a little bit more versatile that way. And they definitely keep Bean busy, which is nice because Bean is such a crazy troublemaker. But all of the rats in general like them as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about here. Um, just get some good shots of Bean trying to roll around the ball. <laughs> He's like, where are my treats? Where are my freaking treats? I need my treats. Give me my treats. <laughs> and they're also really good for teaching your rat to roll a ball if you want. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.